Okay everyone, hello, welcome back along to the channel today. Uh, I'm currently in an underground car park in Brighton. Uh, the reason why I have come here today is because I have got this thing. Which is part of the Dave's Pinhole Camera World Tour. Uh, so basically what this is, from what I'm aware, is a pinhole camera which was picked up in a charity shop somewhere um, someone uh, called John I believe asked to have a go with a pinhole camera and this was sent to him uh, and really enjoyed it and I believe John and Dave had an idea to send this pinhole camera around the world to various uh, photographers to let them if you've experienced pinhole photography for the first time or get out and just um, have a go really. Um, but because of uh, life at the moment, uh, they decided to keep it to the UK instead. So this camera has currently been traveling around the UK. I'm not fully sure where it's been. I know it's just come down from Bristol to me, to Sussex. And yeah, it's a, a beautiful, certainly incredibly well-made homemade pinhole camera. Uh, it's got a 50mm focal, uh, 0.2mm pinhole, which is an aperture of 250. So, that's what I'm shooting today. So the idea for me is when, because uh, this has come to Sussex, I thought, and it's been travelling around the UK, I thought it'd be nice to visit Sussex locations, iconic sort of spots. So my idea was to do like a peer-to-peer. -peer. So we've got lots of peers all around England and particularly quite a few along the Sussex coast, Victorian sort of peers. So I was gonna do between Brighton Pier and Eastbourne Pier and pick several locations along the way, along the coastal way to photograph. And um, so that's my plan today. I'm gonna got a bit of a mission. Um, I'm not sure how it's all gonna go, but uh, should be fun. So we'll crack on and we'll see what we find. So just coming up to um, the Brighton Pier now. Uh, insanely sunny today. I was hoping for a nice overcast day, so I was going to hope for a shot the other side of the pier, but I don't want to be shooting into the sun. So I'm going to figure out a quick composition on this one. Uh, take my first photo with it. Okay, so that was my first photo, a uh, 20 second exposure of some foam pan 100. Uh, so I'm gonna head off now to Rottending Windmill. I'm kind of pleased to be getting out of Brighton. I've uh, done some more photos further down for another video and it's cost me a fortune in parking. So for the next stretch on the uh, Sussex leg of the uh, Dave's Pinhole, Tour, I am here at Rottingding Windmill.
Okay, for, so this one I've set up um, portrait, looking darkly at the back of the windmill. What I've also done is put a green filter on, which should tone down the blues a little bit and hopefully lighten up the grass a little bit as well. So I'm hoping it might balance it out a little bit more. The problem with this is to put the filter on, you've got to undo the cap and the cap exposes the film. So I'm going to have to hold a cloth over it as my shutter, pull the dark side out and then open it. Uh, because it's got a filter on it that knocks it back about two stops and that's going to give me an exposure time with famer pan about three minutes thirty ish um, so I make sure everything's sitting steady nothing's going to move because this film back's a little bit sloppy so I might need to wedge that a little bit and uh, yeah let's take it All right, so I've come away from Rottingdean. I've now come into New Haven, and the next shot I want is um, up this hill. Um, now I'm starting to get a little bit worried about this one actually because when I had originally looked at today, it was meant to be really nice and cloudy, and I'm not a blue skies and sunshine sort of photographer I like the especially a pinhole I like the um, worst weather with the, the worst weather the better so I'm having a feeling the Sun might be straight in this but we'll find out when we get to the top Right, so for this one, uh, the plan is I should hopefully get some of the harbour arm in. I don't want to go too far that way, it's going to be straight into the sun. Uh, I've got this telescope here, and then the view off down to the start of the White Cliffs. So I think I've got about a 12 second exposure on this with Foma Pan. Um, I'm trying to keep as much of the sun out as I can. I'm not a big fan of the flare it might be all right but uh yeah. so see where this one goes and uh find somewhere else
Right, so I've left uh, New Haven. I've headed towards Seaford. Uh, there was going to be a spot, another spot in Seaford which I wanted to photograph, but the sun was just kind of going to get in the way. Um, so I've decided to come uh, here. Which is uh, Seven Sisters. Anyone who's uh, regularly watched my videos will know I come here quite a bit. I did partly want to avoid it today because I do come here quite a bit but I kind of figured um, if I'm doing a stretch of Sussex with this camera you kind of can't not come here if it's to do with Sussex it's probably one of the most iconic landmarks um, going so I'm gonna find a spot set up a shop Got uh, lots of blue sky, lots of blue sea, so probably going to need a bit of a red filter on there today. Uh, but with the sun straight on the cliffs, it does look good. It does look good today. Now, while I'm uh, taking the longish walk down here, I need to say a big thank you to uh, Roger from uh, Shoot Film Like a Boss. Uh, the other day. He uh, did a video on large format pinhole photography and uh, gave my channel a mention and threw quite a few more subscribers my way, which I was, you know, really, really appreciative. I didn't ask him to do it. He went out of his way and very kindly said he wanted to. Um, so a huge, huge, huge thanks to him. I'll uh, leave a link in the description to the video, you know, to his channel. Um, so if you've not seen him before, make sure you head over there. And uh, he does some amazing videos all about film photography. And uh, definitely, definitely worth the watch. So thank you, Roger. Much appreciated it. Right, so I've got my shot set up, uh, got the red filter on, two minute exposure. I was hoping to find some plants along the top there, but they're all gone on this time of year. Um, so, yeah. so I'll do this with the filter again. And start the timer. Okay, so excuse the sweaty head. I'm on a bit of a mission now. I've kind of been aware that the time is ticking by and I set myself a bit of a challenge to get down to the Beachyhead Lighthouse. Um, but I've got to be back home by a set point to get the kids off to clubs and stuff. So um, I've got still a couple of hours before the tide goes out. So I don't think I'm going to get to it today. Still got a little way to go. Thankfully the sun's still over that way so I can possibly get a shot with the lighthouse and the cliff. So I'm gonna see how close I can get. And then head off for my last shot down at the Eastbourne Pier. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and navigate my way through this first. Really not the easiest area to get across when you're in a rush. So I'm 
find something up over here quickly. Yeah, I'll be close enough. Right, so I've got this shot underway. Um, I'll just put a red filter on. Try and knock back the sun reflection on the filter a little bit. So I've got a two and a half minute exposure, I think. Um, so I've kind of just got a balance here. For two and a half minutes, I'm trying to, um, hopefully I'm not getting that in the sun. Um, so I know there's a bit of dust and marks on this filter and the sun's just going to make it worse. It's bad enough of a pinhole camera, so I'm hoping that's just out of its field of view. So let's wait for that timer to go off and finish off. Okay, so that was it. East Spawn Pier, that was a 20 second exposure. Uh, no filters on that one. So I was just trying to be careful with the shadow of the tripod and the camera and stuff really. So I didn't really want it too much in the picture. But that was it, that's my peer to peer with Dave's Pinhole Camera UK Tour. So I really hope you've enjoyed. Dave, thank you very much for allowing me to use the camera to have it sent to me really appreciated it uh, if you've enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah. see you next time i'm out thanks for watching everyone Knackered.